Hello everybody, Lance Koike here. Today we're going to work on the shoulder I, T, and Y. Uh, this is an exercise variation just to be up front that I don't really use anymore. I did them pretty much every day for five years and saw no benefit at all. <laughs> and when I started to realize with the help of some of my old mentors, what was going on, I was just like, this is just not worth my time anymore. And I think I've let that bias run into some of my coaching, maybe. Uh, it could be helpful for some other people. It might be a good um, non-coached exercise for some people. Um, for some, it's a slam dunk. It's everything that they need. Um, for me, though, I was really good at compensating around the purpose of the exercise. So let's let's talk about it. So I did the the hand position. This is the I. This is the T, and this is the Y. Sometimes you'll do this prone, lying face down on a bench. Um, you can do it just bent over as well, um, and you can even do it standing just to kind of feel what your shoulder blades are supposed to be doing. So basically when I take, when I make this action, uh, I'll turn to the side, when I make this action, I'm pulling my hands back, but I'm also pulling my shoulder blades back. It's kind of mimicking a row, right? It's just like I pull my elbow back and my shoulder comes with it. Um, when I'm doing that, I'm trying to get the activity of the upper back muscles. I'm trying to get the, the rhomboids and the trapezius, specifically the lower and the middle fibers of the trapezius, to turn on, to activate, so that I know what to do during my rowing movements, right? A lot of times when people have shoulder dysfunction, they have subactive or hypoactive uh, lower trapezius muscles and, and middle trapezius and even rhomboids, I would venture to say. The problem is when I'm doing this exercise, I need to make sure that my spine, my midsection is secured. So if I do this eye and I bring my shoulder blades back, um, but I lean myself back to do it, I'm going to feel a good pinch. I'm going to feel a good squeeze kind of in somewhere in that area, maybe in my middle back, maybe in my, it feels like my upper back. But the problem is I'm getting that from my spinal extensor muscles. I'm getting excessive spinal extension period um, rather than exclusively getting it from my upper back muscles, those trapezius and rhomboids that we were talking about. So um, what you have to look out for again is this leaning back while you do it. The secret here is you got to find some way to turn your abs on and keep them kind of secured, gently secured while you do the, uh, the retraction of the shoulder blades while you bring those hands back. Um, the, <laughs> the problem is here, if I say abs, what you're going to do is you're going to want to try to crunch down a little bit and then you're going to do this little thing. And that's not quite giving me what I'm looking for. What I need is just a, a not too straight, not too extended low back. I need to find my lower abdominals to secure my pelvic position while I move my upper body from that. <sighs> Sometimes you even need to uh, avoid the thoracic extension more than you would think so. So I use that term because it's frequently thrown around on the internet as the, you know, the be all end all of shoulder dysfunction. And I would agree that people have limited mobility in their shoulder areas and in their thoracic spine. That, however, is by design because there are more joints there. The rib cage comes there and it restricts that movement. You're not supposed to have quite as much movement there. So some of it is normal. What I did was I, I said, okay, if some is good, more is better. And I just kept driving that motion. And that caused more dysfunction for me. It destabilized my left shoulder. Now it's just kind of hanging out there. It doesn't really know what to do. Okay. So keep an eye out for that. The just now just the hand positions of this movement. The eye is down here. It's, it's good for just getting a general retraction. It's probably all you really need to do. The T is kind of like a reverse fly and it loads your middle back muscles a little bit more as long as you can get the, uh, the position. And then the Y helps me load my lower 
trapezius muscles. Basically, the way that you're going to compensate on this is either that leaning back that we talked about or a shoulder shrug, especially during the, uh, the overhead, the Y variations. It's really easy to kick on your upper trap and neglect that lower trap that you're really trying to load. So be cognizant of your position, right? Get a little bit of that hip tuck, get some abdominal, lower outer abdominal activity to secure you as you bring your hands back for the I, the T, and the Y.